I am proud to introduce for the first time ever on the program, the new executive director of Wolfpack, Chris Cram Campbell. Oh God, it's so <laughs> psyched Hi, up. Shay. Uh, pleasure, pleasure to be on the show uh, and a real honor to be uh, working for Wolfpack. This is the, the most important issue of our day. Chris, you know what's funny? Um, even though we hired you, uh, you know, since you live in Connecticut, I had never seen you before. We'd only talked on the phone. Well, this is what I look like. Okay, there you go. <laughs> okay. Look at this shot, too. All right. All right. Uh, so, Chris, uh, give us some updates on what's happening this week, because this is an important week uh, in regards to Citizens United anniversary, et cetera. Well, this is definitely a huge week for uh, Citizens United. This is its two-year anniversary, and uh, we have joined as an endorsing organization with uh, the United for the People's camp uh, campaign to have uh, a big event uh, starting, we have our first event on the 19th, going through the 21st, uh, uh, to basically uh, get out the word uh, to, to everybody uh, that Citizens United has been uh, uh, polluting our campaigns and really buying our politicians, and to uh, raise the vis visibility. So we're very happy to be joining with a, a number of other uh, partner groups and uh, getting our volunteers out there to uh, raise the visibility on this campaign. So, Chris, and, what, what, what are the events that they're going to this week, and, and what are the dates of those events? Well, we have events uh, all across the country right now, and if you go to our website, there is an uh, events calendar that you can sign on and find events near you, or also uh, host your own if you can't find one in your local area. But we have uh, events across the nation, and uh, uh, many, many of the different cities. Uh, right now, we've got uh, six events posted up. We have events in... Uh, Washington, we have events in New Hampshire, Pittsburgh, uh, California, uh, and there's just more events getting added all the time as more and more of our uh, volunteers and leaders out there start uh, adding events uh, to the Wolfpack calendar. And so if you don't see an event up there and you want to be involved, uh, make sure to add one at wolf-pack.com. All right, Chris, uh, what's happening on Friday and, and why that date? Well, well Friday is uh, Occupy the co Courts. Um, this was a movement. This was a... Uh, date that was chosen by a couple of other organizations and um, they've asked us to, to join in and so we're definitely uh, coming on board with them for that. And so this is going to be showing up at courthouses on that Friday to say that we don't want uh, any more uh, you know, decisions basically like the Supreme Court made that have really uh, cast a pale over our democracy. We need to uh, stand up to the courts and say that the Citizens United ruling has to be overturned. And you know, we have, uh, we have you know, courts in Montana right now that have actually taken steps to do that. but. Obviously, uh, they'll probably be overruled when they get to the uh, our Supreme Court because those five justices, uh, they're still there. Right. And uh, so the Citizen United anniversary is coming up. It's on Saturday, right, Chris? Yeah, it's on the 21st. It's on uh, the 21st, Saturday. right. Uh, but they're occupying the courts on Friday because the courts are open on Friday. And then Occupy uh, Congress is going out tomorrow, Tuesday, uh, to D.C., uh, to a lot of the different legislative offices, and they're like, look, if everybody's going to lobby, we're going to try to lobby. Not with money, but they're going to actually send uh, members to Congress to actually try to get meetings with legislators, which I like. So there's a lot of movement uh, this uh, week because of the Occupy movement and because of the Citizens United anniversary. And, and Chris, one more thing. Occupy D.C. just passed the corporate personhood resolution. Uh, how encouraged are you by that, and how similar is it to our uh, amendment? Well, you know, I'm, I'm very encouraged. We have a, a tidal wave of these res resolutions uh, across the nation, uh, passed by Occupy groups, passed by municipalities, uh, cities, uh, the most recent being L.A. and New York City. And we also have even had these, in these resolutions introduced at the state level now, uh, one in Virginia uh, by uh, uh, a great state senator up there, Virginia Thomas, or sorry, blanked on her name. And then we have another resolution that will actually be introduced in uh, Maryland this uh, Wednesday at an event that one of our uh, Wolfpack uh, volunteers is uh, co-organizing. Which uh, three departments do we want to get rid of, Chris? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, sorry for comparing, uh, even in a joking manner, comparing you to Rick Perry. I knew that the name had to be wrong, and I don't know the name of that woman, because she, she couldn't possibly be Virginia Thomas from the state and of Virginia. Yeah, it's too much of a coincidence. You'd never forget that. Anyway, um, so and I know there's a good bill in Maryland that we're going to try to uh, support as well. It's Virginia Lyons. Really? She's Virginia Lyons from Virginia. For, from Vermont, not oh, Virginia. from Vermont. Okay. Yes. All right. 
Stellar job on that one uh, between Chris and I. But anyway, okay, now that makes sense. Um, and interestingly, there's a legislator in Virginia named Vermont Lyons. <laughs> Kennedy's secretary was named Lincoln, and Lincoln's secretary was named Kennedy. Anyway, all right, everybody go to wolf-pack.com to find out all the events that are happening in your area this week. Uh, there's great movement there, and we are starting to get uh, some field generals for Wolfpack. And uh, we couldn't be more excited about all the enthusiasm and our new executive director, Chris Campbell. Thanks for joining uh, us. Thank, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And uh, I just spent about 40 hours over the last two days on the, or 20 hours over the last four days on the phone with uh, Wolfpack volunteers. And people are very excited to get involved in this. So I'm encouraging everybody out in the TYT nation to get to the website and sign, sign up at uh, wolf-pack.com and uh, wolf-pack.com and make sure to uh, sign up as a volunteer and uh, sign our petition to support us to keep this movement growing. All right, thanks, Chris. We appreciate it.